Today's sunshine note is titled, The Teacher Becomes the Student. Now go, I will help you speak and I will teach you what to say. Exodus chapter 4 verse 12. I have been a student and I have been a teacher, and I think being a student is easier. I know, I know, some of you are protesting, but students have to do a lot of the homework. It's true. But teachers have to figure out what homework to assign. Explain it, grade it, calculate your overall grade, keep all the rowdies under control while actually trying to teach something in the meantime. And then, give you the dreaded news that there's more homework. Now, whether it's easy or hard, being a teacher is definitely the best way to learn. That may sound random, since you'd think being a student would be best. Nevertheless, there is an old adage that says, the best way to learn something is to teach it. When you have to explain something to someone else, it really forces you to study and understand it. One of my first jobs was teaching writing and composition at a community college. Most of the students were adults who were going back to school after spending 10 or 20 years raising kids or working as a mechanic. And now, here they were at the local community college with me, some girl their kid's age, trying to teach them to write a paper. I have to admit that until I found myself forced to explain the writing process, I did not really think much about what it included. I just wrote without considering what steps it involved. When I had to put the process into words and teach it, I had to break it down in my mind. I began to understand it better the more I thought about it and discussed it. A lot of Christians don't talk to others about God because they feel that they don't understand their own beliefs well enough to explain them. Many Christians also assume they don't know enough to teach a class at church or lead a youth group meeting. But here's the deal. If you want to learn, teach. Volunteer to help your youth leader. Get the material for the next lesson, study it during the week, and then give it a go as a teacher's assistant. You will learn tons that way. Or try telling a friend what you believe about God. It will force you to really think, grow, and learn. Live it out. Teach or explain something this week. You will learn something too. Pray about it. Pray for wisdom and the desire always to keep learning. Now go, I will help you speak and I will teach you what to say. Exodus chapter 4 verse 12 May God bless you today.